Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I do my warmer balls because clearly I didn't say that. Um, so right now I'm using um, Land of Havala. <laughs> Those are my kids. I apologize. Uh, this is just a regular parasite formula and it tells you how to use it. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of what, I mean, it tells you by weight. So you do it based on weight. Um, yeah, so maintenance, so starting out, you do twice a day for three to six days. Maintenance adults is just once or twice a week. I do once a week. Um, young stock, uh, at least three times a week. And then acute, like if somebody's sick, you do double doses hourly. Um, I have not had to do that yet with this one. Um, I've used Molly's Herbals. They're really good. I've used, um, oh, what are they called? Fermettos. And I have to say, I do like Fermettos. They're a little pricey. Um, but I do like them, especially they're like GI Soother. Land of, Havala, Land of Havala also has like a GI back on track or something like that. So, but what we're using today is this one. Um, obviously every animal is different the way that I do it is I really kind of make it into this big powder I mix it up now I'm gonna show you how I do it and then we just roll them up into like a little snake thingy like you do a play-doh and then into little tiny balls and that's what I give them so the way that I measure it so that there's enough to roll um, is I do a tablespoon per goat or per pig it might be either a little too much or a little too less but really i really feel that it's just kind of enough for everybody and everybody's been really good i have no issues with any parasites or anything like that so this one's closed let me get a big one so usually i just get um just a bowl and we're gonna go ahead and usually i have like an actual um an actual measuring spoon sometimes I don't have that and that's okay so we're just gonna get a spoon and I'm gonna do it as if I'm doing it for my dogs right now cuz it's pretty much the same thing but I'm just gonna show you how to do it cuz I already did the goats and the pigs and the chickens I just sprinkle it loosely so let's see we have the two Danes three Great Pyrenees and a doctor okay so that's six dogs so I'm just gonna go ahead and one, two, three, four. Oh, that's a big one. Five. I'm gonna get a little smaller. Six. Okay, six. The reason I make them heaping is because because I turn them into like a, a dosage ball. If I make them exactly how it says, then oh, excuse me. <coughs> this stuff gets in your nostrils and your throat and it'll make you sneeze or cough anyways so go ahead put it in here now if it's for the goats sometimes like today I added um, a little bit of cayenne pepper I get this one from mountain rose herbs I'm not doing that for the dogs they're not gonna eat it if I do that um, sometimes I have uh, copper that I'll have to put in it sometimes I have some um, like minerals and things like that I'll, I'll sprinkle it in there today because it was really chilly I gave them some vitamin C packages to the goats um, and they enjoy it you know but if you really want almost anybody to eat this especially dogs and even the goats the goats love it I put peanut butter now I don't have any regular peanut butter right now all I have is like a dehydrated powdered peanut butter and I honestly just get like the the most economical like at Walmart obviously and I mean it's got protein in it and everything so they really 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 love this stuff it's like good so what I'm gonna do to make it um, really cover the taste of this because this does have wormwood in it and wormwood, wormwood is bitter so I go ahead and I'm just gonna do the equivalent of what I did so I'm just gonna go ahead and add like big heaping. Two, three, four, five, 
six. I'm only doing it like this for the dogs because they really obviously have a, a very distinguished palette and they can tell when I'm trying to trick them with something. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Now for the goats, I don't do that much. I do maybe two or three of the tablespoons and you know, they can't tell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that up. Again, the peanut butter does expand. So always have adequate water for your animals you know, whether you're giving it to them in a powder or not. I've also tried uh, baking them into treats and I've been successful in baking some dog treats and stuff, even goat treats. The only thing I don't like about making the treats is that I really cannot tell, you know, how much of the wormer I actually put in there. Um, sometimes, let's say on the goats, I'll use like essential oils. We'll put like on guard, um, I've used rosemary, anything that might help aid in the expulsion, expulsion, getting rid of worms. Um, I will add, like, I can even taste the wormwood in my mouth. It's pretty bitter. Um, so first things first is I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Whatever you have on hand, this is grapeseed oil. It's just a very neutral oil. I'm going to just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm gonna grab some uh, blackstrap molasses, food grade. We bake with this, we do um, cookies, whatever. We make our own uh, brown sugar with it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plop a nice size amount right there. Just kind of eyeball it. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. The dogs like molasses. I think almost any animal likes molasses. So the only thing that I'll say is go less. Less is more when you're adding this stuff. Um, as far as like the oils and the molasses because it could get to the point that it's so, um, so mushy and liquidy that you can't even roll it out into a ball. Kind of like the way that it is right now this is really not a good consistency so what i will usually do to make it a better consistency is i will go ahead and depending on what's going on i'll put a little bit more um of the parasite formula or i like right now i'm gonna add a little bit more of the peanut butter and if all else fails a little bit of flour just regular all-purpose flour you can do that too and that will get it to a really good consistency where it's uh, pliable and you can kind of play with it. It's getting a lot better right now. Let's see, still not where I want it, but, and I usually don't have this issue with the goat warmer. Like here's a, this is a warmer ball that I made today for the goats. And it's just, literally, it's just a perfect, perfect consistency just easy to just uh, um here's another one they're just they're, they're this is a perfect literally perfect consistency but like this it's well it's getting there it's not perfect though but i'm sure that once the peanut butter absorbs a lot see that's good once the peanut butter absorbs a lot of the moisture in here from the molasses and the oil, it'll get better. It's actually not too bad. It could be worse. All right, so put my sleeves up. And this is a big amount. What I could do, since this is such a large amount, um, is I could, I could actually bake this. I could add um, some flour to this, maybe an egg. And I could actually bake this into some treats for the dogs to give them for a few days. So because the dogs have not been wormed in a while, I'm going to go ahead and just make this into some small balls. So I'll go ahead and make it into like a little snake thingy right here. And just pinch off a piece. Turn it into a ball. Again, so this sticky... I, you don't want it like that. You want it like this, where there's zero stick to it. Um, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these into some balls. 
I mean, it's so simple, guys, and you can really add whatever you want. Um, if you do not like adding molasses to any of your stuff, you can add honey, you can add syrup. Um, honestly, they will eat it with whatever sweetener you got. I just like adding a sweetener because um, some of the herbs that are in here are kind of bitter. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the, the list of what's in there. Um, so see, I've got, I've got balls for all the dogs. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So everyone's got their dosage ball. And I still have some left over. So I could turn those into some treats or just give it to them. It's actually not too bad. It's not really leaving a big mess on me or anything like that. Um, let's see. So inside this one in particular, it has... So this one, it says that it's not for equines or uh, camelids, so camels. Um, this one has a black walnut, it has cayenne, it has chaparral, cinnamon, cloves, garlic, ginger, hyssop, lobelia, infalta, male fern, mulein, orange, pau de arco, thyme, turmeric, wormwood, and yarrow. Now, I'm sure that you could really do some of your own warmer on your own if you grow your own herbs. Um, I grow my own herbs, but there's no way that I mean there is a way if I really wanted to I could grow my own herbs I think this is this is 60 ounces so it's a pound so I'm pretty sure if I studied a little bit more and understood um, the ratios on how to deworm my animals I could absolutely do this on my own you could do different type of herbs it doesn't have to be what's on these um, they all all the different companies that I've seen so far use different types of herbs and also what I have been trying to do is grow some herbs out in the field. Now here's the thing. When a goat sees that herb and they want it, they're gonna take it down to the bare root. So that's an issue. Um, you could grow little bits and just put them into their food and I'm sure that they will absolutely love that. Um, this is actually, it came out pretty not bad. It's actually started to incorporate itself a lot better. Like you can see that it's not leaving my hand dirty or anything like that. It is still tacky and I don't like it tacky, but you know, and they are pretty big. So I can absolutely split these in half and give some in the morning, some at night, or some today and then the next following days. Um, let me see if my dog will eat it. Doctor, come here, boy. Come here, baby, come. You want some treats? Come here. Can you come up here? Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see them bring you guys closer all right come here doctor come you go come on come on come on grab it okay so he's got it he likes it i'm not sure if every oh he got boo come here claire bear the danes are a little finicky so i'm not sure how much oh river you want some come here come here river come on come and get it come and get it come on Trying to get you guys. Oh, let me see. Here, baby. You want some? She's not gonna. Oh, well, he got his. That's two. You are incredible. All right, so I'm gonna try to separate him so that I can feed the rest of wherever balls because he went ahead and got two. It's not gonna hurt him. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> he will be deworm. Hi, VV. Let's see. Are you gonna be picky? Are you gonna be picky? Go ahead. That's a good girl. Come on. It's got peanut butter. Peanut butter. Here you go. Not you, doctor. Just you. Here you go. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Come on. Here you go. <laughs> she got half of it. So, obviously, maybe not all dogs will like it. But um, I'm pretty sure if I maybe just did a lot of peanut butter and not so much of the wormer then they would obviously eat it we just have to make a few more to compensate for what they didn't get so that's it guys that's how i make the wormer balls um obviously you could use dip any type of oil that you like would you like one no you could use any type of oil that you like you can use any sweetener that you like and don't freak out if it's too liquidy just add some flour um, or some peanut butter powder or you know really whatever you got on hand that can kind of help you thicken it up just always remember to have adequate water for them because you know 
nobody wants to have peanut butter like mm, 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 stuck in your mouth for too long or your throat so that's it guys that's how we do it we do it every single week um saturdays are farm day that's how we do it and unless an animal is not getting better and you've done the the way to treat them with the acute prescription for the natural wormer if that doesn't work then we absolutely give them um you know pharmaceuticals we don't let any animal die here just because we're trying to do something in a natural way we do our best to do it the natural way and if that doesn't work then we try medicine and honestly we always we always pray over the animals and they seem to be okay uh sometimes we've had deaths obviously people you know animals die people die we all die um and that's always a sad thing but as far as getting them parasite free uh we do it this way and florida is finicky because florida is just wet and hot and it's just a hot mess but it works so far so good and i'll leave a link down uh to the website that i'm using for this one but honestly i'll leave you a link to all the other ones that i've used you really you guys just got to try it and if you like it great and if not you do your own thing you try different things um but so far so good this is working for us and i've been using them for i think about a year they were recommended from a friend nearby and pretty good so i hope that this kind of explains how to do the wormer balls you could just sprinkle it on their food you could put it in their water you can make it into a drench but i don't want to have to force feed the animals anything i feel like that's just going to give them a bad um I don't know it's not good husbandry i guess i don't know so if i don't have to shove anything down their throats i won't do it i just want to willingly give them something that's a treat so they associate us with good things not bad but if they're sick they will get uh, whatever they need whether it's an injection or anything else so i hope you guys uh i don't know i hope you guys learned something and if not i hope you liked it and if you did um just please leave a like and subscribe if you want to i think i have what was it? it was in that movie uh, mom's night out i think i have four subscribers but yesterday i had five which is weird or something like that <laughs> either way uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this kind of helped just a little bit